Hello and welcome to this Tech Talk on our new Petascale storage system. I'm Bob Moore and I'm joined today by Patrick Chu, our Director of Storage for Supermicro. Thanks, Patrick, for being here with me today. Thank you. This is my honor to be here today. Thank you. Certainly, we've seen a huge increase in demand for storage throughout the industry. One customer need that seems to transcend all market segments is the need for more and more storage. Supermicro has responded to that requirement by launching a new Petascale system that we actually have right here. So Patrick, let's discuss what's the real advantage this system has over previous generations. This is the Supermicro's brand new PCIe Gen 5 Petascale or flash storage in, rack, in one rack use space. And it supports a dual Intel Xeon 4th Gen processor and up to 24 EDSF E1 as NVMe SSD. Yes, EDSFF, the Enterprise Data Center Standard Form Factor, came from a working group. Uh, but in this time, we've really advanced the capabilities on this petascale unit. Give us some more details. The EDSF is the industry new form factor set and the design for the next generation NVMe SSD. The key advantage over the legacy form factor is uh, this can support a larger capacity and a better performance scaling and improve the thermal efficiency and is the future ready to support the Gen 5, Gen 6 and the futures. Now certainly, Patrick, uh, Supermicro develops all of our solutions based on our building block approach, which is really advantageous for us. And that's what we have here in this new Petascale system. We've leveraged the chassis, processor, and other features. Uh, let me tell you, Patrick, as we pull this out, tell us how the building block design has helped us get this to market more quickly than our competitors. Uh, yes, but uh, let me explain the, how the building block working in these uh, brand new systems. Uh, these systems, we have the PCIe Gen 5 brand new design, uh, purpose design motherboard for the all flash storage. Mm -hmm. It can support the two uh, Intel Xeon 4th Gen rations of uh, CPU up to the 270 watts. And we support the 32 DIMMs, uh, DDR5 DIMM. And in real side, we support the two AIOM, which is a OCP 3.0 compatible uh, network card. And also the two riser card can support the two uh, half high full length uh, uh, extensions for any uh, device. So this is a great new design. And uh, this design we can also leverage in the future 2U system. So you've talked about the new Intel, fourth generation Intel Xeon scalable processor uh, with 32 DIMMs yes. of memory as we can see in here. And of course, we purposely removed the top here so that we could take a look inside this. But I really got to ask you, what about the storage capability on this petascale system? Yeah, for the, for the storage, this system can support up to 24 E1S SSD, uh, which can support the 9.5 and the 15 millimeters. This is a 9.5 millimeters, and this is the 15 millimeters E1S SSD with the 8 terabyte E1S SSD. The maximum capacity for this system can reach 192 terabyte in one use space. Wow, that's a lot. And with that, all that kind of technology, processing power, as well as storage, what are some of the key workloads you might use this system for? Definitely. This brand new uh, PCIe Gen 5 all flash storage can provide ultra high bandwidth with the low data access latency in one rack U. It will be the perfect building block for the mission critical database, virtualization, and the dense VDI, next generation big data analytic, HPC, AI, ML workload, and also for the media entertainment and the CDN use case. So uh, a lot of use cases there, a lot of workloads that can support, yeah. really glad to hear that. And uh, I'm sure without revealing anything, you're probably gonna scale these systems up in the very near future. Again, without going into any detail too much, what do you got in plan for us on a roadmap? Supermicro is always advancing the amount of storage available to the customer. And we have a very solid roadmap to expand our EDSF storage offering to the two use space. And, uh, with the, and uh, with the new EDSF E3 form factors. In that uh, coming system, the total system uh, storage capacity can reach out to the one petabyte. Wow, one petabyte, that's amazing. That's just a huge amount of storage. I can't wait to see that come out in the very near future from Supermicro. Yes. Uh, finally, Patrick, we're here on January 10th or whenever you happen to be watching this Tech Talk. So the system is available and shipping in volume and uh, ready for customers to purchase at any time, right? Yes, definitely. The, the system is fully validated and uh, is ready to engage and fulfill any demands. Well, thank you, Patrick, so much for being here. It's been quite educational for me. I appreciate it. And thanks, everybody, for watching our Tech Talk today. Learn more at www.supermicro.com.